Managing different but integrated poultry operations with multi-location farms is a difficult task. Each operation has a set of crucial activities. If not done properly, the business loses critical information. With the loss of information, you lose control, causing loss of yield, higher mortality, inconsistent KPIs, high expenses and no preventive actions. Poultry OS helps you keep your business on track. Now you can plan your placements, procurement and cumulative feed production. Monitor daily mortality, weights, feed requests and consumption, egg collection and grading. Get all your KPIs like FCR, BPI, EEF, actual versus standard chart comparison in one place. Give access to information to all stakeholders from supervisor, manager, doctor, farmer and management. Get instant alerts, notifications and reminders for activities. Poultry OS, helping you to get more out of every bird. Managing different but integrated poultry operations with multi-location farms is a difficult task. Each operation has a set of crucial activities. If not done properly, the business loses critical information. With the loss of information, you lose control, causing loss of yield, higher mortality, inconsistent KPIs, high expenses and no preventive actions. Poultry OS helps you keep your business on track. Now you can plan your placements, procurement and cumulative feed production. Monitor daily mortality, weights, feed requests and consumption, egg collection and grading. Get all your KPIs like FCR, BPI, EEF, actual versus standard chart comparison in one place. Give access to information to all stakeholders from supervisor, manager, doctor, farmer and management. Get instant alerts notifications and reminders for activities. Poultry OS, helping you to get more out of every bird. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're all staying safe, and I hope you can see the screen and hear us loud and clear. I'm Jana, and I would like to thank you all for attending today's webinar, Digitally Transform Your Poultry Management. I would like to make a few announcements. First, kindly note that this session is being recorded and will be published on our YouTube channel. Second, the Q&A mode has been enabled and you should be able to see a question icon on the bottom right corner when you drag the side menu bar. Feel free to press the icon and type any question during the session and we will answer them at the very end. And now we will share a quick survey on your screen just for us to know you a little bit better. We would appreciate your participation in the survey.
Thank you for participating. We will be sharing the results now. The agenda for today is as follows. First, we will be talking about who we are, followed by SAP Business One and Culture OS Solution presentation, which will be led by our pre-sales and project director, Mr. Ajay, and the CEO of Logical DNA, Mr. Sadr. And finally, we will be showcasing the solution in action, which will be covered by Mr. Sagar as well. Finally, we will have a Q&A session to answer all your questions. We are sure that today's session will help you overcome your challenges throughout the poultry industry life cycle, from breeding to harvesting. Before we dive into the presentation, I wanted to quickly share with you about inflection. We are a certified SAP Gold Partner for the MENA region with offices in UAE, Lebanon, Oman, and an offshore development center in India. We are in business for more than 14 years and have helped successfully deliver more than 200 projects. We were able to provide quality servers to our growing 2,500 SAP licensed users through our family of about 100 plus experts, of which 97% are SAP certified with combined 900 years of SAP solution expertise. Our deep-rooted SAP relationship being a value-added reseller and build partners with PCOE and recognized expertise of solutions and industry vertical provides us with an ability to deliver focused SAP solutions covering small, medium, and large enterprises. Like the ERP solutions rise with SAP, SAP as for HANA, SAP Business by Design, SAP Business One, and SAP Customer Checkout for Point of Sale. While we also have SAP Success Factors, SAP Ariba, and SAP C for HANA for the line of business. And finally, SAP Analytics and SAP Business Technology Platform, we help you become an intelligent enterprise. Our SAP PCOE certification is awarded post SAP audit which ensures we have the process, infrastructure, certified people, and SLA to deliver quality support consistently post-implementation. Our SAP recognized expertise in SAP Business One, SAP Business by Design, and consumer products highlights our commitment to customers. This designation recognizes the expertise and competencies to distinguish our capabilities from competitors in the market. The requirements include having trained and certified individuals in a focus area or industry and a track record of customer success and satisfaction. Our SAP certified and highly experienced team of consultants not only provide implementation and rollout services, but can also migrate and upgrade your existing solutions. Our SAP PCOE certification ensures high quality of support, maintenance, and service levels while our great partnership allows us to develop specific customization and adaptation for your business requirements. We can help you extend and integrate with SAP or third-party systems as well. With all these, we serve as your single window provider for a digital transformation journey. That's about inflection and its expertise and a snap. And now let me hand over to our pre-sales and projects director, Mr. Ajay, without further ado. Thank you, Jenna, for the quick introduction. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all. Uh, we have people from across the world who have joined us today for our presentation. It's a pleasure to host you on our webinar today, and as well to have Sagar on board with an exclusive partnership for Logical DNA for us to be able to give you the solution which will enable you to digitally transform your poultry management business. So the base of the solution is based on SAP Business One, and SAP Business One essentially is the platform of choice for SMEs as far as small and medium size, small and medium sized sectors are concerned. So SAP Business One is a very popular solution which has about 70,000 plus customers globally 
and about 1 million users who are using SAP Business One at this very moment of time. It's also available in 55 country localizations and in 28 languages. And there are 300 plus software solution providers globally who are providing add-on solutions which make this industry vertical enabled as well. One of them is Poultry OS, which we will be discussing today about extensively. SAP Business One is also installed in about 170 countries, so you can be rest assured that whichever part of the world you are, you will be able to implement SAP Business One in your business along with the Poultry add-on solution. SAP Business One itself comes with a multitude of modules, which forms the base on which the Poultry OS solution has been built. So we have from management and administration perspective where you can manage and develop and implement the complete solution by yourself and maintain it even after the implementation has been completed. You have from an accounting and financials perspective, you have the fixed asset accounting, the general accounting, as well as costing and budgeting modules which are available, which will help you in your organization reach the financial goals that you have. From inventory and distribution aspect of it, you have the complete inventory management module along with warehousing capabilities where we can also define aisles, racks, bins, and shelves. We also have put away tasks. Uh, we also have picking tasks that is available in SAP Business One, which allows you to efficiently pick and pack and deliver your products as, we, as the business grows. Additionally to this, we have the production and MRP module as well. Uh, where you will be able to produce uh, products. We can also have uh, resources that are associated with these uh, production capabilities in order to have the route maps which are defined for your production capabilities. With the MRP, you have the material requirement planning which enables you with lean inventory management. And we have intelligent, program, intelligent forecasting based MRP as well, which is included as part of SAP Business One on the HANA platform. From a project and resource management perspective, you can run internal projects. You can also run projects for your customers as well. In your industry of poultry management, probably if you're building a new farm, if you're adding a new, uh, new product line, you can use project management to capture the cost and the profitability of the project or the costing of the, the total cost of the project can be tracked and the time that you are spending on the project also can be tracked using the project management module. Finally, we have sales and service. In sales and service, you can start from the pre-sales, from a marketing perspective, and also manage customer satisfaction with the service module, where you will be able to record every feedback that you get from your customer and, the, and, the, and how you resolve that particular incident can be tracked as well. And finally, but last, last and not the least, we have purchasing and operations module, where you are able to manage your RFP process with multiple suppliers, and then getting into actually completing the whole process by also getting online quotations, doing comparisons, creating purchase orders, and recording goods receipts and account payable invoices as well. All of these are backed by intelligent technology which SAP has in terms of its uh, automatic invoice scanning functionality, or let it be credit card, uh, let it be business card, uh, scanning functionality, which also is enabled using artificial intelligence and machine learning as well. So from a solution stack perspective, we have SAP Business One, which is available on-premise as well as on a hosted model from a cloud solution perspective. It's available on two database variants, Microsoft SQL as well as SAP HANA database. We always recommend going in with the SAP HANA database simply because it's an in-memory technology and it has additional rich features that would enable make your enterprise an intelligent enterprise. So we have also the software development kit that is deployed as part of your solution. And then we have the integration framework and the service layer, which are two options which are used for interfacing with external devices or applications in order to bring in data or send out data from SAP Business One, thereby making it seamless. And this is being used effectively in the poultry solution as well. And Sagar would be able to help explain that during his, his part of the presentation. We have extensive analytics and reporting functionality where you can slice and dice the information. You have rich cockpits as well, which are available and based on user roles. Again, mobility comes as part of SAP Business One where you can access the application using the native mobile apps that SAP produces and publishes on the Android as well as iOS phones. 
Apart from that, we have a host of other products and solutions that are offered by SAP and third party, which can be also clubbed with SAP Business One, depending on the type of organization that we belong to as well. So these are the, the next two slides talk about exclusive features that you get with SAP Business One on HANA. So again, because of HANA database, which is an in-memory database, you get these exclusive and enterprise level features as part of SAP Business One uh, at the cost of SAP Business One itself. So you have the enterprise search, which helps you do a Google-like search. So you can do a search within uh, for a transaction uh, or a uh, with based on a partial keyword or partial uh, numbers as well it will bring in all the records and then you can collate them and you will be able to access the transaction that you're looking at in a much faster manner you have the cash flow forecasting tool which allows you to do simulations of your cash flows in order to maintain healthy liquidity ratios in your organization we have the available to promise option which will allow you to interact with current and future stock levels and ensure that you have your customer demands are satisfied to a great extent. We have delivery schedule management, which helps you in prioritizing customer demand by doing a drag and drop interface to ensure timely delivery. And you can also set the priorities and change the priorities based on the delivery dates as well. You have intelligent forecast, which as I mentioned earlier, allows you to have lean inventory management based on the past sales that you have achieved or the future sales that you are going to have in your organization. And you have sales recommendations as well, which will help you in upselling and cross-selling products as you are making sales orders or invoices, depending on whichever the case might be. Again, from an analytics and reporting perspective, we have interactive analytics, uh, which is available with uh, Microsoft Excel as an interface but this connects directly into the SAP HANA database, brings in all the records, thereby reducing the amount of IT dependency essentially. So you don't require a programmer essentially to be able to use all of these analytics and reporting capabilities, starting from uh, the pervasive analytics designer, which helps you create multiple widgets and dashboards as well as slice and dice the information. You have dashboards and advanced dashboards that can be pinned as part of your cockpit and you have the analytical portal which allows you for pre-scheduled reports to be shared to predefined people at predefined times as well as access them from a reporting perspective you could also have the sap crystal reports which gives you all the print layouts that you require in order to make sure that the presentation what goes out to your customers and vendors to or to the external world is in a very presentable and printable format as well so all of these are part of SAP Business One. And finally, we have the mobile applications, which can be used on tablets or iOS devices. Again, these are part of the license. There is no additional cost. And all the infrastructure that is required to deploy these applications are also available by default in the package of SAP Business One itself. Uh, let me now hand over to Sagar to introduce Logical DNA as well as Poultry OS. And, he, and it's a pleasure to have you on board today, Sagar. All yours. Ajay, uh, thanks a lot for that detailed explanation of uh, SAP. So, uh, hello everyone. My name is Sagar Gurbole. I'm founder and CEO of uh, Logical DNA Solutions. Logical DNA Solutions uh, founded in 2008. And we have been uh, working exclusively in livestock industry since uh, 2015. So we have uh, more than 500 plus clients for different product lines, including the livestock industry. Uh, we have poultry expertise, which are uh, working with uh, you know this industry for more than 20 years. Uh, we have 40 plus clients for poultry uh, organizations, which are using this solution. We are the only SAP partner in the uh, world to have SAP certified poultry add-on, uh, which means that SAP has gone through the add-on and other details to make sure that it adheres to all uh, standards which SAP proposes. So we also have a mobile and IoT enabled solution, and we have a strong team of 60 plus resources and operating from India. Now we'll uh, quickly jump into our uh, next slide where uh, we will see some market customers that we have so we have been uh, working into different regions 
uh, so we have uh, customers from india middle east uh, sri lanka and uh, you know different geographies of the world a good part is the solution mapping itself is so strong that uh, irrespective of region we have been able to deliver a comprehensive solution for poultry industry at such next slide please now why do we need a system for poultry industry because you know this is a very standardized industry but when it comes to analytics and when it comes to data acquisition from multiple locations which is often the case in poultry so we fail to capture real time data because there are no channels or there are no tools which will give access to on field data and push it into a centralized data system where uh, we are processing all the values and uh, generating all the reports so typically we depend on excel sheets so data is gathered using different sources so it needs to be cleaned then there is a manual data processing and obviously due to all these calculations we don't get any real time information which is very very critical when it comes to taking decisions in poultry now imagine you have uh, you know mortality is going on then you don't get information or uh, your forecast and your actual uh, values are differing and you don't get information on daily basis then it is going to have a major impact on your quantity and quality of total yield now when it comes to other challenges uh, what we are saying is traceability is very important when it comes to uh, farm to table traceability or the vertically integrated poultry operations also have a traceability so we have to check the parent flock through which the bird has been uh, reared so these are challenges that we are facing so we try and uh, give solution for these uh, different challenges to make sure that your poultry is digitally transformed and it takes advantages of all uh, you know up to mark technologies like iot mobile applications analytics and so on and it gives you more power in terms of making quick and real time decisions so now we'll see different modules that we have and we cover in our solution so the product is poultry os again as i said it is a sap certified add on uh, that we uh, work with sap business one now we cover all modules from poultry industry starting from breeder management and layer so in breeder and layer what we are doing is covering entire forecast uh, for upcoming years uh, also have a flock placement daily transactions uh, features like uh, you know amortization and so on so the entire cycle for breeder and layer is covered till the flock is liquidated uh, uh, next slide please once we are done with the breeder the next module which comes into picture is hatchery where eggs are incubated and it also has a critical planning to be done because it serves as a middle segment for breeder and integration and uh, the entire planning which uh, the facility that we have you can actually do forecasting in breeder plan your placements in hatchery and then uh, you know place your batches in integration according to those forecasts and planning so hatchery covers your setter uh, hatcher and other uh, modules daily transactions into hatchery uh, in integration we have contract farming as well as own farming modules uh, again they track the entire cycle for uh, integration modules including the cost calculations and uh, different expenses then we have uh, processing management which is a, a last mile in terms of generating a, a by product from whole chicken again there is a forward and backward integration in these modules as well which are uh, you know connected together very tightly next slide please now for poultry feed management is very critical uh, 70 75% of cost of your bird comes from feed now in uh, order to manage the poultry feed requirements their planning their uh, you know recipes and other things we have a feed mill management module which is based on uh, standard sap production module but has uh, additional feature in terms of specific poultry modules now we will dive deep into a uh, quick overview of uh, each module uh, before we actually go into a demo so in breeder as we discuss uh, we have a complete uh, flock calendar uh, management so you can have uh, you know a flock calendar created for uh, one year two year or three year and it will be connected to your future planning in terms of further cycles 
So flock calendar will give you uh, what would be your future egg collections, what would be depending on the standard hatchability, what would be your uh, you know bird uh, birds that you will get out of those and so on. It also has uh, entire cycle from starting from shared creation where different parameters related to shared are uh, captured. Then we have uh, you know flock placement approvals, egg collection till the flock liquidation. Now, best part of this uh, module is, uh, you know, since it is built specifically for uh, this industry, it has features like flock merging, amortization, and all the reports are always generated against standard versus actual. Because due to the uh, highly uh, standardized industry that we are into, uh, we have uh, performance objectives which are breed wise, and we generate all the reports in comparison to uh, these standards and performance objectives. Now, inventory tracking and cost calculation is very key aspect when it comes to breeder and layer because we have to know biological value of the bird and then depending on this value, uh, we have the overall flock performance captured. So we also have uh, you know this under control and uh, various reports can also be generated. We also have a very strong expense tracking and uh, you know loading those expenses on your uh, live batch. So you get exact bird cost and uh, in further uh, cycles uh, in hatchery, we will see how it is uh, captured at an egg level uh, as well. So next module is uh, hatchery. Next slide, please. So hatchery is again, as I said, it's a middle segment between a breeder and integration. So we have complete machine utilization and planning. So we uh, you know, capture uh, sector hatcher capacities, whether they are single shot, multi shot. We also have uh, you know, possible integration with hatchers for temperature and humidity capturing. We uh, you know, capture daily transactions like uh, candling test, fumigation. So all uh, you know, these costs are loaded on uh, a DOC cost. So that gives us uh, exact uh, bird cost at when we are uh, you know, getting the birds from hatchery. Again, there are various reports in hatchery for uh, the daily uh, uh, cost calculations as well as, uh, you know, reports like hatchability, which are uh, periodically generated for checking the flock performance. Uh, in next slide, we'll see the integration or broiler module. Again, we have uh, two types of uh, activities covered into this. Whether it's a contract farming or whether it's a own farming, we can uh, you know manage farms accordingly. Uh, we have a very strong mobile application which works across uh, breeder and uh, uh, broiler as well to capture all on-field uh, activities. So supervisor can directly enter your, the data from uh, field itself. Now uh, in entire broiler cycle, the bird cost calculation uh, is very critical. So we capture and provide real time value of the bird daily on day to day basis. So different users can use the system. Uh, we also have uh, integration with uh, uh, breeder hatchery and then uh, the broiler part where you can actually trace from which parent flock for which week the bird has come. Uh, similarly, we also have a forward integration with uh, the processing plant and uh, processing plant can also generate their requirements based on broiler and uh, the total farm capacity and current available birds. Now in next module, we'll see the processing uh, plant features. Processing plant, again, uh, it's a multi-stage processing uh, system. So we capture harvesting and slaughter process. Again, these can be N levels. So you can have multiple bill of material. So from whole bird, you can take out different uh, combinations of uh, uh, byproducts. Again, it is. Uh, it also has a feature where uh, you know it is integrated with your uh, demand in terms of cells and cold storage uh, capacity. So, looking at that, we can uh, generate the production planning, which in uh, you know again, which is integrated with broiler capacity and all. So, in terms of processing, uh, we have uh, uh, features like vestige and shrinkage, which is again very important when it comes to generation of byproducts. We have a very strong engine where all the bill of material definition has uh, cost ratios and weight ratios where you can actually, while creating a bill of material itself, you can configure these and then uh, the costs and values are loaded accordingly. Uh, next, 
after processing, uh, as we mentioned, there is a very interesting pro mobile application that we have. A mobile application uh, essentially allows you to have and solve a very critical issue of capturing real-time data. Mobile application will allow you to do daily transactions. So it will capture mortality, feed, medicine, vaccine consumption, different parameters like temperature and humidity. And uh, so it also has a very quick indications to supervisors in terms of uh, what are the current expectations from standard chart point of view. So the mobile application also has an analytical part uh, in, in uh, so we will also see that uh, in our walkthrough. Uh, next slide, please. So as you can see, you can have a quick uh, dashboard in mobile, which captures different KPIs and it gives you a quick analytical uh, inputs in terms of what are the different aspects uh, which supervisor needs to understand and based on that he will be uh, you know performing his task and taking a preventive action decisions now we will quickly uh, jump on to our actual product walkthrough so uh, let me uh, take you to the product and different uh, analysis that uh, we are able to do okay so i hope uh, you all are able to see my screen so now you know we are quickly jumping into what kind of reports that uh, you know we can generate based on uh, this engine so as uh, ajay explained uh, sap has analytical part uh, in terms of excel engines as well as crystal reports so looking at uh, uh, what we are capturing so we have these analytical views as well as we have these crystal report uh, based uh, registers or reports you can uh, which you can print and use now while jumping into this uh, sap uh, module so you can see that you have all standard sap modules like uh, finance sales purchase business partners banking inventory and so on which will capture all your uh, sales purchase finance and uh, accounting related uh, entries what you see out here is the critical part of it where this certified add-on comes into picture so we have breeder layer hatchery broiler farming and processing so again as i said feed is covered into standard sap production model now when it comes to breeder as we discussed the system is very configurable so uh, depending on your breed you will have a place to configure your uh, performance objectives or uh, you know different standard charts in terms of feed medicine and vaccine uh, we will have uh, different grade masters we will have uh, you know word valuation masters and so on so that allows you to configure the system as per your requirements because uh, performance objectives depending on the region and environment they could be different even for same breeds so there are different phases under which uh, you know we basically monitor the entire transactions uh, in terms of uh, breeder activities as we discuss uh, breeder covers the entire cycle from uh, placement to chicks procurement then you have uh, actual uh, uh, placement then daily transactions those daily transactions also have approvals and uh, uh, cycles in place now as we talked about a mobile application for all the daily transactions so here is a quick view of this mobile application that we were talking about as you can see uh, it has uh, given uh, uh, so this is a supervisor view where uh, actually you will see a dashboard that supervisor will see uh, there are different uh, KPIs that we are tracking you have uh, batch performance you also have total expenses and income there are feed related uh, details uh, now drill down also allows you to have uh, you know different analytical uh, features in place and so on so this is a very comprehensive uh, you know mobile application for capturing the daily transactions so all daily transactions, uh, whether it is in breeder, layer or uh, broiler. So daily transactions will be captured from uh, mobile applications if uh, application is uh, uh, th there. So if you can see, it's a very intuitive, very simple uh, screen that we are talking about. So mobile application will allow supervisors to uh, choose the fields rather than, uh, you know, uh, do the data entry. So all these values are captured from mobile then they are utilized for different cost calculations in our modules so in terms of uh, transactions again as i said starting from uh, placement of the batch then uh, daily transactions amortization 
uh, mortality, egg collection. So all these cycles and uh, screens are covered in terms of their operations as well as in terms of their cost calculation. So uh, as we said, we are using standard SAP as a core framework. So whenever we are doing any inventory or any accounting related transaction, best part is once you do the transaction, you don't need to do any separate entry for your accounts or inventory management. So, so based on this, your uh, real time profit and loss and balance sheet also gets generated as part of standard activities. Uh, as I said, uh, we also have uh, forecasting features where uh, depending on age and uh, what quantity that uh, you have. So you can generate forecast for uh, uh, you know next few years as well. Or you can have a batch wise forecast which will give you laying and uh, uh, you know other other byproducts or other so egg and bird related forecasting. Uh, so these are different forecast activities. And again, as I said, we have multiple reports uh, for each module. <clears throat> so right now you're looking at a forecasting report for how many eggs would be generated in which week, uh, how many of those would possibly be uh, hatchable eggs, and then what would be the total number of chicks which we can get from uh, this batch. Similarly, we can have a feed requirement planning flock wise. So depending on flock age and uh, breed. So we have a standard feed chart based on which we are able to generate various planning reports, which are very crucial. So again, as I said, so we are capturing inventory movement. We are capturing cost movement and we are also providing you with analytics when it comes to different KPIs from poultry industry. Now, again, this data is linked with SAP, so you don't need to export data into third party systems and then generate reports as a secondary uh, action. They are all linked and they are all driven from uh, SAP itself. So this is breeder module. Similarly, if you can see, you have hatchery where again we have three sections, master, transaction and reports. Again, in hatchery, we have uh, all the uh, screens where uh, we can capture different inputs in terms of their uh, activities. We can have uh, screens and uh, data like uh, candling test. We can also have uh, medicine and other costs uh, in terms of uh, used in terms of fumigation. So these are capturing daily activities. So while uh, you know masters covers actual machine uh, capacity and uh, count. So based on this machine capacity and count, we will be able to do the planning activity. And once the placement is done from for eggs, we will be doing daily transactions where different uh, you know parameters will be captured. Now, in terms of IoT, if the machines are compatible, we can actually fetch that data from uh, those uh, sectors and hatcher, which directly comes into SAP. So this is the best part in terms of uh, you know having SAP as a strong base system. It has uh, different uh, functionalities which allows you to have integrations and utilize technologically advanced features like uh, you know uh, uh, IoT and mobile integration. Now, after hatchery, we uh, come to broiler farming, where again the system is very very configurable. If you see, uh, we have different uh, standard schedules depending on the breed. Then for contract farming and own farming, we have different objectives. Uh, even uh, for contract farming, we have entire scheme management, which can allow you to have deductions, which can allow you to have incentives and so on. So again, this is very, very uh, configurable system. Uh, we also have uh, you know features like depending on the performance, you can set up incentives for your employees hierarchy wise. So we have uh, you know captured uh, details till that level. So system is uh, set up initially as per your requirements, and then uh, you know further transactions will allow you to have all the data inputs, which are very useful in terms of generation of the reports. Now, as we talked about the cycle, again uh, we have shared related transactions, which will uh, uh, which will basically tell you whether the shared is available, whether it is ready. If you can see, we have cleaning parameters, brooding parameters, equipment parameters, 
all these are uh, i mean these are not static but they come from masters that we have configured okay so once the masters are configured they will be utilized into daily transactions so cbf or broiler farming also has placement planning then we also have uh, uh, shared planning placement planning then actual batch is placed chick allocation is done then request for uh, you know medicine and uh, you know feed etc is also done through the system so it allows you to have a complete control over overall system by means of its transactions back and forth so when it comes to uh, you know inventory management for feed so we have uh, feed captures uh, on the daily transaction screen and feed requirements are captured on the inventory or feed request screens we can also capture uh, you know local expenses so if you see even on mobile application you have uh, expense and income options where uh, different expense heads can be seen which can be uh, inputted by either supervisor or through sap so it is a very comprehensive system which will allow you to have a flexibility in terms of data entry so depending on uh, where the data originates the data is captured at that place only to avoid multiple data entry points and redundancy so in terms of uh, uh, processes again as i said after uh, in uh, broiler farming also you have placement daily transaction then uh, all uh, uh, reports like uh, fcr and uh, different uh, batch related activities their costs all are captured and generated in the reports so now if you see this is a farm performance report so depending on the batch so for each batch we are capturing mortality culls their production quantity whether there were shortages and excesses uh, what was the average lifting age what was the you know average liquidation age for that batch what was the feed consumed it, its average rate cost and then the uh, kpis like fcr cfcr bpi so we also have uh, you know ef standards and so on so this is captured in the system real time and all these reports are ready to be used for your analytical part so this gives us a very very interesting uh, you know perspective uh, in terms of batch performances which can be utilized for better decision making so as we are talking about uh, cbf so as we said it also captures the entire transaction for uh, contract farming it also has uh growing charge engine so growing rearing charges uh, generation and uh, this is again completely calculated based on the schemes that we have and uh, value will be generated and indicative of the performances for each farm so this covers uh, cbf cycle in a nutshell because i'm just giving a quick overview in terms of what all processes that we have covered when it comes to processing we can have a reverse planning uh, we can have uh, uh, sort of a forecast based on what you have available in your uh, broiler farms so that uh, you know we can uh, cover then as i said we can have different level uh, slaughter and harvesting processes so when it comes to uh, actual uh, so good if you see you have uh, different uh, activities again we also have different charge details uh, portion details and so on so uh, ratios and uh, weightages are calculated and based on those weightages and uh, ratios the actual bird will be processed and uh, the parts would be taken in as a by product in processing we again have uh, different inventory movements covered now uh, as we discussed in terms of uh, masters we have all these uh, uh, bill of material and uh, configurations which are sort of uh, time activities so if you see uh, we have what is then pricing associated with that and then how it will be bifurcated part by part or by product by by product so once this is we will actually have a slaughter process then we'll have shrinkage vestiges uh, calculation again we will compare it with standards that we have as per your processes 
and further once the products are uh, uh, received from production the cold storage and other movements are also captured so again as we were discussing uh, we have different analytical reports which are result of all this data capture which is either by means of sap or a mobile application once these values are captured then we are able to generate all these reports where uh, you know you can see uh, week wise performances site wise or location wise performances what are the cumulative performances weekly performances so what it gives you a clarity in terms of how your farm is performing and at what level you need to intervene in terms of if there is anything which is deviating from uh, your standard performance so if you can see you have quick indicators in terms of uh, you know green and red which will tell you what where the deviation is and how we can uh, you know actually calculating and addressing that so there are different analytical uh, uh, you know reports model wise as i said we have two types of reports one is uh, hana based or excel engine based reports and uh, others are excel based uh, sorry uh, crystal uh, based uh, reports which are like standard reports generating from sap so there are different uh, reports so breeder so we we have total uh, close to 90 reports for uh, different modules for sap uh, in terms of uh, poultry engine and all these reports are uh, very effective in terms of your daily monitoring and performance analysis so this concludes a quick overview of uh, modules that we have again as i said uh, even uh, the poultry application is very pre configured so it, uh, it 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 puts supervisors at a ease in terms of capturing the data and so on uh, so all data is pre populated and uh, there is a minimum data entry which is required so uh, after this quick overview now we will have a small survey again and uh, then we will dive into question and answers and we will be more than happy to answer all the questions that you have and uh, would be happy to give you more inputs we would appreciate your participation in this survey as well before moving on to the Q&A session We hope you can all answer the survey. Thank you all for participating. We will be sharing the results now. So, 
moving on to the Q&A session with our first question from Mr. Anwar. So, Sagar, Mr. Anwar has a question for us. It says, I need to know if the system can give me the full cycle or history beginning from the breeder to hatcher to boiler to judge on the flock in a right way. Yes. yes. So, by, so, we have been talking about uh, vertical integration throughout the poultry uh, you know, activities. So, the way we track this is, and which is very important in terms of uh, Flock performance uh, calculation because hatchability uh, and uh, you know overall bird collection or uh, yield depends on that. So what we do is uh, starting from breeder, we have egg collection which are marked by week and particular day. So those are created as new batches. So uh, you know if we start from parent flock, so we have uh, egg batches which are generated from parent flock, and those egg batches are again linked with day old chicks which are output from hatchery and once these day old chicks are received they are put into broiler for uh, you know further uh, i mean create a batch for further uh, bird growth so what we are able to do is we are able to identify a broiler batch uh, it's uh, you know connected hatcher batch and it's connected parent bird batch now, typically what happens is if there is a, uh, you know, low weight or uh, mortality or if there is a, there, there is any disease uh, which is getting infected into broiler, typically we go back to see what was the, uh, you know, uh, different aspects for parent batch for that particular uh, broiler bird. So, yes, so we are able to connect and integrate all these three cycles and uh, pinpoint we can uh, identify for which week uh, this egg was collected and where uh, it was uh, you know sent to broiler farms and so on so we have this entire uh, vertically integrated operations great thank you sagar i think we have another question from uh, mr anwar also it says one more question what about the wastage especially in slaughterhouse dose is calculated and should it be more specified uh, yes, so when we are talking about uh, slaughterhouse, uh, when we are configuring the masters uh, in terms of slaughter parts, so we have, uh, uh, you know, different bill of material that we are creating where vestige and its associated cost is also, uh, you know, noted. So, for example, if uh, we are uh, from uh, whole bird, whole chicken, we are creating byproducts. So, uh, you know, let's say, 17% uh, wastage is configured into bill of material. So when we actually do a production order, then we calculate what is the uh, you know, actual wastage and what was the uh, planned wastage. And we are able to generate reports for uh, you know, do comparisons for that. So yes, so wastage is uh, compared against plan and actual and all those uh, activities are captured into uh, processing bill of material plus uh, when we are actually uh, doing uh, harvesting uh, and it also allows us to have different levels of harvesting. So, you know, from uh, whole chicken, I mean, uh, we'll have gizzard and other uh, uh, items. Then from whole bird, then we will have further uh, breakdown into till, let's say, leg piece. So even in that cycle, we are able to capture the vestiges. So, Sagat, if I may add, I think uh, all the benchmarks that are there for planned and actuals, can be set at the time of implementation. Yes. So this is set as a one-time configuration, uh, depending on uh, you know company-wise uh, activities. So for example, uh, if uh, Mr. Anwar has a bill of material for uh, you know specifically designed for a particular customer, because uh, our clients uh, you know have different uh, requirements. So if they are uh, you know providing. Uh, uh, uh their their birds or let's say leg piece to uh mcdonald's and mcdonald's would have a specific requirement in terms of weight uh for that leg piece and size of that leg piece so this all is configured one time uh in bill of material and depending on the requirements it can be configured as per the uh company standards that uh, we are implementing for 
So I believe, Mr. Anwar, uh, we have answered both your questions. Uh, if you have any further, please feel free to ask them. We are happy to answer them for you. Uh, thank you, Ms. Junita, if I pronounce your name correctly. Definitely, we thank you for the uh, feedback. We will definitely get in touch with you and uh, have a one-to-one -one session uh, as well as share the information by email as well. I believe we have your uh, contact details and uh, our team will be able to reach out to you soon. So there is a new question from Mr. Mohammed Khalifa. Uh, so he asks saying, do you have a solution for, uh, for systems for dead chicks? Uh, yes. So uh, while uh, capturing our uh, daily activity, so we have uh, mortality, mortality reasons, and we also capture culls, which are like weak birds. And uh, we also have, uh, you know, respective costs associated with that. And uh, Ajay, can I quickly share my screen so I can actually show him the report that, uh, you know, we... Absolutely, Sagar. I think uh, you should be able to share your screen. Yes, got it. Now I can. So uh, when we are talking about uh, uh, dead birds or rather... Uh, uh, mortality in terms of uh, yeah so when we are actually doing a daily transaction as uh, we discuss in uh, our uh, mobile application in daily transaction we capture mortality mortality reason and then uh, yeah so if you see out here we are capturing mortality as well as culls culls are like weak birds which can be sold as uh, you know weak birds so they have different sell and uh, you know different rates so starting from live quantity and we also have different categorization whether it's a transit mortality accident mortality or a different mortality reasons specifically for poultry and we uh, you know compare them with actual standard chart age wise mortality percentage and we can give indication in terms of whether this is off limit or uh, you know whether we are in the range of uh, the given standards so if you see the mobile application actually lists all mortality reasons which are pre-configured and you can add your own reasons into it so we can actually give you reason wise age wise phase wise analysis for mortality so i hope uh, you know this answers his question Thank you, Sagar. I think uh, Mr. Khalifa's our question is answered. We have a new question from Mr. Anwar. He says, uh, what about byproducts in slaughterhouses? Right. So when uh, we are configuring the bill of material, then we have uh, uh, you know option where we can uh, uh, configure our byproducts. Again, when we are talking about uh, vestiges and other things so again we, we took an example of a uh, leg piece or uh, uh, you know any body part of this bird that will come as a bill of material so from single bird when it comes to slaughtering and harvesting we will have different body parts depending on their percentage uh, we will have uh, those configured uh, again let me quickly share my screen i'll show you that uh, particular screen where we configure this so that will give a better idea so if you're you can see my screen <clears throat> so we have a different body parts and if you can see so the last part is the other uh, you know offerings so you have whole chicken gizzard liver so you have weight ratios price ratios and once this actually goes into a production, we have standard versus actual comparison when the production order is generated. So this is how we will configure it uh, based on uh, your bill of material. And then uh, when the actual harvesting takes place, then we will have uh, those uh, captured in the further process.
Okay, I hope you answered this question. Yes, I believe uh, Mr. Anwar, I uh, answered your question. And we do have someone typing. So again, uh, Ajay, as we are talking about, this is a completely integrated operation. So uh, best part of this is uh, while we are generating any flock performance and other analytical reports, uh, as as Mr. Anwar earlier asked, these are since these are integrated modules, not only by means of inventory, but by means of cost. So when we are generating eggs from a breeder, sending them to hatchery, from hatchery, sending them to uh, you know day old chicks to broiler. So they come with actual standard cost versus uh, actual cost. So you can act, compare whether uh, you know your flock starts at certain costs or not. So that is also very crucial in terms of poultry operations because typically while actual production is taking place, we have standard costs, but then uh, using our system, you are able to have a very good reconciliation in terms of standard and actual costs. And also Sagar, if I may add, uh, essentially uh, because of the tight integration and it runs on SAP Business One, all these transactions are being, the journal entries are being automatically posted uh, based on the account determination that would be done during the time of implementation and they would also reflect in the financial statements of the organization. Yes, absolutely. So depending on the configurations uh, that we are doing, uh, you know, those would be posted directly on respective ledgers. So best part of it is as we are doing daily transaction, your, uh, uh, you know, WIP inventory and bird cost is getting calculated automatically. And, uh, you know, you don't need to do any further separate entries for that. Absolutely. So that's where the tight integration between the modules come and it relies on the gap standards of SAP Business One on the finance as well. So I, I, I hope uh, that answers the question. And now we have a new question from Mohammed, Mr. Mohammed Khalifa. He says uh, it's, it's an issue to make landed costs for chick after we make insurance. Issuance, yeah. Uh, very good question uh, because uh, in poultry what happens is since the cycle is continuous, uh, all uh, regular expenses like feed, medicine, vaccine, those are captured on a daily transaction level. Now what happens is for other expenses like transport, salary and uh, you know different maintenances. So these are like monthly or periodical expenses. So these come, uh, you know, sometimes they come after the batch is closed. So we have, uh, you know, screens for where we can actually capture uh, these expenses. If you are able to see my screen. So this is a load expense screen. So what it does is it has all other expense details which we can capture. So daily transaction expenses, amortization, expen amortization expenses as well as uh, other expenses. So once we click on calculate expense, what will happen is whatever invoices are booked till that point depending on the distribution which we have configured for uh, each expense those will be loaded on each batch now we also have a budgeting screen now uh, you know pertaining to this uh, question so what we can also offer is uh, we will first put the budgets now even if the uh, you know batch is getting liquidated in middle of month what we will do is before liquidation, looking at the budgets, we will load the expenses referring to the budgets. I mean, not referring to actual expenses which are yet to happen. So all those budgeted expenses are loaded on the birds before the liquidation. And once the actual expenses are incurred, then we will have a reconciliation screen. If there are any gaps, the remaining expenses, if they are on higher side, will be loaded on the next set of batches. So that is how uh, you know we deal with expenses in terms of uh, you know landed cost for each bird. So, Mr. Mohammed, I hope I was able to answer that. Sagar, I think we have another question on the way. Sure. Yes, Mr. Khalifa says uh, thanks for the answer. So I believe. So we had initially, Miss uh, 
we had mr hamadi who had raised his hand mr hamadi we would request you to ask your question so the question okay. which mr mohammed asked is also you know i mean that was very crucial because that is like a pain area in terms of uh, for costing people when it comes to calculation of their uh, uh biological value and bird cost absolutely and again all of this is having a direct impact on the finance module in sap and uh, these are all being reflected at real time basis on the uh, financial statements as well yes so here uh, you know you don't need to wait for months to close your balance sheet so your balance sheet is as good as real time and uh, you know sorry uh, sorry go ahead just just a quick uh, reference to the features that we talked about so in uh, you know poultry amortization also plays i mean that's a very uh, critical cost calculation component so we have uh, you know uh, amortization also uh, so it has a standard method as well as fair value method so we capture cost and amortization in both ways great thank you for that input uh, sagar uh, any more questions we are happy to answer and entertain any more questions i believe we have another question on the way So Jay, again, a critical aspect of this is uh, you know all field level data entries. So as we were talking about this mobile application, it has proved to be very very useful for managing distributed and because locations are different, they are far away. So you know it, it's very important to capture all the details in real time. So uh, as per our current customers' feedback, the mobile application has proved uh, you know very useful. or them in terms of capturing and managing the farms and also i think because it is mobile enabled uh, it could be a tablet it could be a mobile phone and since it runs on an android the cost also would be low and i believe uh, they will be able to and because of the user interface being simple supervisors would be able to update it uh, on a real time basis quickly as well absolutely absolutely So we encourage you to ask us any more questions. We have about a minute left in our session today. So as as we uh, you know wait for further questions, you know we were talking about uh, the analytical part, which is uh, which is like a product of this entire system. so here uh, you know all these charts which are generated uh, weekly and all the reports uh, which are again uh, categorically defined and generated for poultry uh, so sap itself has their own set of uh, reports for standard uh, operations and combined it with poultry reports so this basically takes away your all excel sheet work in terms of day to day activities for managing and calculations of all these uh, different parameters and uh, you know we can also send out uh, automated reports generated from system to your email so you know uh, any poultry manager would be more than happy to get all weekly reports uh, ready for him to be processed and it captures all the poultry related uh, uh, you know kpis as as we can see on the screen and uh, we can customize these reports as well if required uh, based on the location or based on the company or based on uh, 
the business model as well. Am I right, uh, Sagar? Absolutely, absolutely. So what we provide is uh, sort of a predefined set of reports, which uh, you know, as per our experience, are very useful in poultry. But it often happens that each organization has its own way in terms of looking at the data and managing uh, you know those values. So we are uh, we provide them reports as per their uh, you know requirements. Great. So I believe we have no further questions, and uh, we would like to thank you, Sagar, for uh, being part of the webinar today. We would like to thank all uh, who are involved and who took the time to be with us today. Uh, thank you for your participation, and uh, we hope to get in touch with you all soon. Thank you, everybody. Have uh, a great day. Day. It was really awesome experience, and I hope this was uh, useful to everyone. Absolutely. Thank you again.